BNSF has had a few paint schemes that they've used on their locomotives over the years. So here they are. H1, or Heritage 1, showed up just after the 1993 merger. It has a large orange band in the middle, with green areas above and below, and yellow stripes in between. The colors are based on what the Great Northern used on their Empire Builder train. These are Omaha Orange and Pullman Green. The nose of the H1 locomotives has the Old Cross style logo. In 2005, the railroad changed their name from the Burlington Northern Santa Fe to just BNSF. With this came the swoosh logo. Now, H1s were being painted with the new logo, and the Pullman Green was changed to black. People call this the swoosh H1. Both variations were painted on nearly every type of engine BNSF had at the time, but nowadays I've mostly seen H1 on older EMD yard and road switchers. From the H1 design, H2 thins out the green areas, adds more yellow stripes, and turns the BNSF lettering yellow. Also, the cigar band style logo is displayed on the nose. In my experiences, if you see an H2, you're probably looking at a Dash 9. However, H2 was found on Dash 8s, AC4400 CWs, Jivos, and many wide cab EMDs. H3 is the most recent scheme that is found on nearly all modern Jivos and EMDs. This design came out in about 2005 when the new swoosh logo came out. Both the yellow lettering and the green areas were changed back to black. H4 goes back to the H1 design but adds the usual changes. The green was changed to black, the swoosh logo was added, and also the orange areas were enlarged. I seem to find these a lot on GP60s, but of course they are on other locomotives as well. All of the orange designs were made by BNSF, but during the Great Merger they acquired many Burlington Northern and many Santa Fe locomotives. There are many engines that are still around today in their original colors. The original war bonnet was introduced in 1937 with the Santa Fe's new Super Chief train. These colors were used on their E and F units up until the end of passenger service in 1971. Shortly after, they designed a variation that used yellow. Painted only on E and F units, these were the yellow bonnets. There was also a blue bonnet style, which was also only painted on E and F units. Road switchers of the time also got yellow and blue, known as the freight bonnets. I should also mention that there are a few other paint schemes made by the Santa Fe, such as the Kodachrome, the Pinstripe, and the Zebra Stripe. There are still quite a few freight bonnets on BNSF rails today, but they are becoming less and less common. In 1989, AT&SF brought back the original yellow and orange war bonnet and began applying it to all the new locomotives up until the Great Merger. Most of these newer war bonnets stayed the same during the merger, but with BNSF painted over the Santa Fe lettering. These are called fake bonnets. What about the green side of the family? Well, I can't find a whole lot of information about what the different variations of Cascade Green locomotives are called. There were some with stripes on the nose, some with the BN logo on the nose, some with different white accents. And I can't forget about the Tiger Stripe variant, which had orange and black painted on only the front for higher visibility. Oh, and there's also the BN Executive paint scheme. Anyways, there's a lot of Cascade Green that's still on today's rails, and much of it is painted over with BNSF lettering. BNSF currently has a few single locomotives with their own special paint schemes. There's the Smurfs, locomotives BNSF bought blue and didn't bother to repaint to orange, the Great Pumpkin, an early test scheme that BNSF decided not to use on all their future paint jobs, the Golden Swoosh, another test paint scheme created during the rebranding of 2005, the Microsoft Train Simulator locomotive, a Dash 9 that was featured in the game and, in real life, got a decal telling that it was a featured locomotive, and finally the 25th anniversary unit, which is pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.